Alright, so today I want to talk about the difference between hot and cold observables. Before we get into observables, I want to talk about enumerables. So, an enumerable, a hot enumerable, is one that exists before I enumerate it. So, for example, a little array with stuff in it kind of already exists before I go through and look at the values. And going through and look at the values is just a realization of that. Whereas with a enumerator, an, enum an iterator, excuse me, that I have yields in here, this thing kind of com unfolds itself or it comes into existence as I'm observing it. In fact, this would, the code that was running here would never run if I wouldn't have enum enumerated it. And it'll actually, importantly, run for each time I enumerate it, which is not true with like uh, with some other code that might have actually produced a bunch of values and stored them into a list, for example. And that's, uh, that's the difference between hot and cold enumerables. But with observables, we have, a, we have a similar notion. We have hot enumerables and we have observables, we have, and we have cold observables. So a hot observable is one that kind of exists whether or not you're subscribed to it. So a good example of this is like the mouse moves. So these things are streaming in to the computer whether or not I'm subscribing to them. Right? They, I move the mouse around, the user's doing this thing independently of me observing it. Uh, an example of this other one would be observable.return. This guy doesn't actually run the code that creates the message on next until the point which I subscribe. And it happens for each time I subscribe as well. Another good example of this one is, is defer. And so that's a good operator to look at. So defer, this is observable.defer, takes a function that has to return an observable. And this code in here, so at the end it has to return back some, some observable. And uh, this code in here will actually run only when I subscribe and for each time I subscribe. So that's kind of an important thing. So for example, I can use this defer to cause uh, various things to happen. So I c it's kind of funny because if I have this observable return of x, so I say x equals 1 right here, and then I say x is equal to 5 right here, and maybe say this is x's, and say x is subscribe here, then, then the value that, uh, that a receives here when I subscribe is going to be 1, because the value, in, in some sense, x is, again, hot right here, but we can actually defer this whole computation and make, and make that use of x uh, cold by doing Observable defer this, assign it to x's, and then now here at this point we get the value 5. So it's a um, it's, it's rather important difference between things that come into existence because you observe them and for each time you observe them, rather than, than things that are already existing. So remember that difference when you write your code for Rx.